I need to stop here. Hallelujah. We shall continue. <laughs> I just remembered. No, we need to stop here. Hallelujah. Yes, we shall continue. Please look at the program. And now let's put our hands together and receive the drama team. Praise the Lord. After the drama team, our dear bishop will be coming to bring God's word. Praise the Lord. Let me stop there. I need to be disciplined. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Great. You're welcome. Hello? Hello? It's a fun day. Good morning. Good morning. As professionals who have been commissioned in the anti terrorism unit, I have received the news that here is the bug and there is a bomb which is going to explode within the next five minutes. You've been commissioned and expected to attend to it and save lives, okay? Yes, sir. Remember, you're supposed to protect and. Sir. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, first we, let, we need to first agree how we are going. Eh? So, uh -huh, who is going for us? Yes. Guys, what are you talking about? Of all people you're saying, ladies first. Yes. I am the only woman in this squad. Honest, uh, I am breastfeeding for you, not breastfeeding. I can't go. No. This, this is a bomb. Actually, when you talk about honest, he's a product of hand hustle. You trained very well. Yes, she was a guy. Unless why you're not breastfeeding. Me, let me go. Uh, uh, yes, our man. I can't manage this. Uh, uh, uh. Continue. You are closer. Yes. You, you came with your glasses? Yes, I do. Glasses, yes. Ah. Yes, you want? You work for me. Okay. You come. come. <laughs> you extend a hand. Ah. Just. Uh -huh. Now you have glasses. For you, you can see properly. You, you stand here. Ah. Like this. You go. You, you were in Somalia doing this course in, in bombs. And now you want me to go there. You go. What hey. were you doing in Somalia? Are you sure? Uh, they left us here and they took it to Somalia to talk about bombs. You go. And you tell us, let me bring the van. And uh, you go there when he was in Somalia eating our money. Life is precious. Children's are, children are crying who go for us, Daddy, who go for us. I've gone for them. Tokote, 
Tendereza, yes, yes, oh, what a good girl, yes, oh, sir, oh, Nazisa, Bevasa, oh, Molokos, mighty, holy, and heavenly Father, we come before your throne to say thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for creating us human and for bringing us this morning. May you speak to us, O Lord. May you teach us. May you open our minds and, and quicken our hearts to uh, understand and learn from you. In Jesus' is my name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. How are you? How are you, really? You're happy? I love you and bring you love and greetings from Western Korea Diocese. And... That's a great diocese, by the way. And by God's grace, my wife Joy and I have been in the office of bishop for now uh, six and so years. So we already are in the seventh year, and we thank God so much. Um, we are blessed with three boys and three girls. And one of our boys is here. I, I don't know where he's seated. Uh, I'm putting me aside. Is he? Well, oh, right here. This is our first born. Um, and we already have two grandchildren. Wow, beautiful kids. My goodness. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Uh, that's my prayer that one day you will see a child of your child. Uh, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. So I bring you their love and uh, greetings. I'm glad to be here. And thank you. Thank you, dear Lydia, for your invitation. And thank you for the ministry at St. Francis. This is a great university, Makerere. Makerere? Do you know that university? Makerere University. You are part of a great institution. And uh, this institution has nurtured and cultured and sent many uh, into the world. And we are proud of this university. You are uh, part of a great university. But if I can zoom in, I would like also to thank God for this particular chapel, St. Francis. This chapel, and I'm glad Uncle Ben is coming and others uh, who have really nurtured and guided and, and, and cultured many who have left this particular chapel and are there in the world serving God. Thank you very much. Thank you for being ascending church. Ascending church. You have sent many, not only academics and wonderful men and women, but also people of God who are on mission for the Lord. And so I thank God for this particular uh, chapel. We are praying for our sister, Lydia, as she continues to serve. And thank you for sending Brother Nesmus to the field in North Kigesi. Yes, he's there, he's doing well. I, I was part of that process, and I thank God that he's there. Pray for him. Now, let me tell you, beloved, when God says, who shall go for us? That question comes to us, and we need to get an answer for it. Who shall go for us? 
For who? One, God, by the way, is a missional. God is, is missional. He's a missionary God. He's a God who creates, a God who appoints, a God who selects, a God who elects. He's a God who chooses and, and calls. He's a God who sends. Is that sound part of the service? But I know you are cultured enough not to be distracted by such. Okay? Keep the most important, the most important. There is a mind who said that the most important in life is to know the most important and keep the most important, the most important. God is a sending God. The great sending is when he said to the Lord Jesus Christ to come into the world and change the world. He's a sending God. And so, when the question comes, who shall go for us? I want you to remember that God created you. He chose to create you human. And chose that you also be part of humanity. Did you know, by the way, that you are the only you that is you. You are very, very important. Very special. God creates neither copies nor duplicates. You are the only you that is you. You think about it. And you were created for a purpose. And because you are the only you that is you, unless that purpose is fulfilled by you, nobody else will. You are very special. You don't share your life with anybody. You may share a name. You may share a blood group. But you may not share, you will not share the genetic code. Your DNA is unique of you. Your deoxyribonucleic acid is unique of you. You are the only you that God knows you to be you. And so remember, you are here and sent here. Here, I'm referring to your home. Here, I'm referring to the community in which you are born or to which you are born. And here, I'm referring to this particular university and this chapel. All those are sending you. The God is sending you. He sent you here. The university is preparing you to send you into the world. The church is looking forward to what you are going to do as a letter, as a letter from St. Francis Bakirere. Praise the Lord. You are being sent. And by the way, I pray that you will go out of this university, out of this chapel, to go and bear fruit, to go and have an impact to go and add value. There are people who left here, as I mentioned, who are there doing something for God. God wants you to be there for him. He's sending you, actually he's preparing you now to send you there. And he's saying, go for me. I want you to go for us. I want you to go to the world for me. In that particular office, be there for God. When he has appointed you a CEO of a particular organization or institution or an association, be there for God. Praise God. In your family, as a wife and mother, be there for him. In that community, when you have become a member of parliament, a rocket scientist, a computer wizard, an ambassador, uh, whatever, even a president of this country, you never know, by the way, it's a matter of time. I may be speaking to a president of this country. Who knows when? 
Yeah. You are going to be a lawyer, sit in that chamber and be there for God. Be there for him. To demonstrate that you were created by him, you were cultured at St. Francis, you want to be there for God. So where you find darkness, light shall be seen. Where there is hopelessness, you bring hope. Where there is corruption, yeah, you bring thorough and clean accountability. Be ready. He's setting you out to be there for him. And now, who, when he says who shall go for us, we want to see what, what, what should you be like? The one that is going to send, that is going to send into the world. This particular text that was read to us from Isaiah has a message for us. You turn with me quickly to Isaiah chapter 6. The word of God says in that year that King Uzziah died. I saw the Lord high and exalted. Now let me tell you, if you want to be the one that he's referring to, the one he's going to send to make a difference in the world, you need to have an encounter with God. You need to be a child of God. You have to have a relationship with him. Th that makes sense because this is his world. You are his. He knows you. He chose that you be here. He has authority over you. So you better have a relationship with God. From whom you came to whom you will return one day. That is sending it to his world to accomplish his purposes. You need to have an encounter with God. Listen to what happened to Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah. He said, I saw the Lord. I saw the Lord. Lifted high. He saw God. Exalted. Do you know, do you know the Lord who created us? A God who is almighty. Who is transcendent who is immanent, who is sovereign, who is second to none, who is all-powerful, all-knowing, and all-present, who did not begin, but who is the beginning itself, who does not end, who will never end, he is the end itself. Everything that there is exists in him. He is God the Almighty, from whom all blessings come with whom nothing is impossible. God of love, God of grace, God of mercy. You need to remember that he's a God who loves you. Primarily, God loves you. You think about his grace and mercy as part of his love. Some of you are here, but if it were not by God's grace and mercy, you would not be in this university. Think about it. You think about it, there are many people who will never see a university except in pictures or when they are passing by the gate. You are part of this great university. Think of the blessings. God is gracious. God is merciful. He saw the Lord. And I want you to remember to fear and honor the Lord. Don't, 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 don't play around with God. Do not mock him. He's almighty. In the words of Anselm, he is that than which nothing greater can be conceived. God. He does not only rule the earth as one of the planets. He also rules those exoplanets and the galaxies, including the home galaxy, this Milky Way galaxy where we live. And according to astronomy, the universe is endless. It is unfathomable. You cannot, you cannot understand. There is nobody who knows what the universe is being like. But he's a God of that kind. But listen again. He saw the Lord. Above him were seraphim. 
Now there are two classes of angels, actually three. We have the seraphim and the cherubim and then the archangels. All those were worshipping him. Now, Isaiah said, if this God can be worshipped by angels, I need to walk carefully. I need to walk circumspectly about what is happening to me. And as all that was happening, everything was shaking, smoke filled the whole place. And the angels were singing, holy, holy, holy. Now I know, you know God has different attributes. He's a creator, he's good, he's, he's, but God is holy. No wonder in many hymnals, the first song is holy, holy. Now, God is not only holy, listen to me, he is holy, holy, and holy. That is to say, he is holy in plurality. And because of that, Isaiah said, wow to me, I am finished now. This is the end of me. If this God is this holy, I'm finished. Why? Listen to what his concern was. He was concerned that he was a man of unclean lips. And he lives among people of unclean lips. So his concern was about sin and uncleanliness. He said, how can I be in the presence of God? with this sinfulness. He was concerned. Now let me, let me share this. And you, you look into your heart. Look into your heart. There might be something in your heart that is not clean. Some area of your life that you know is not clean. How are you handling your academics? Could it be that you are going to be first class student, graduate with summa or magna cum laude, but out of cheating? Are you going to get that degree when you have plagiarized? How is your moral life? How do you deal with finances? in that office, how are you interacting with your fellow students? Or even the staff? Look at yourself, that area, that area. Isaiah said, my lips are unclean. How clean are the aspects of your life? Maybe you are a victim of pornography as I speak. And you don't know exactly what to do. You are so addicted that you don't know what to do. And, and now your sexual bank is getting drier and drier. You are emptying yourself. Your sexuality, which was given to you by God, is now empty. Even when you get married, you don't know what you are going to do. Because everything has been oozed out through the pornographic orgy. Look at yourself. Maybe you are a liar. You tell lies. You enter a relationship, drop that girl after a semester, get another one, drop her. Lying. I shall love you with all my heart. You are so good, sweetheart, darling, everything. And the girl trusts you, but you have dropped her. She's crying. You've chucked that boy after getting all the money from him. And then you feel like he's no longer the one. You are there playing around. Some things, some, something is not clean. And you expect God to send you out so you can represent him with that and cleanliness. Isaiah said no, no. No, 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 no. 
And as he was, you know, perplexed by his own state, God said, let me do something. He sent an angel who came with a coal of fire and touched his lips. And as a result, Isaiah was clean. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that from then, he told him, now, now. Ah, this is, this is, this is very, very beautiful. He said, now, your sins, see, your sin is, is, is forgiven. Your, your, your lips are touched. Your guilt is taken away. And your sin is is atoned for. Mukamasim. God did something. He touched Isaiah, forgave his sin, cleansed him, and hear what happened. What happened? Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And now Isaiah would stand before the Lord with confidence and he said, Here I am. Send me. Now that you have touched me, now that I'm forgiven, I am ready for that mission. Send me. Beloved, can I ask you, are you ready to be used of God? Are you ready to go for him in the world? Are you going? What happened now? If you have read Isaiah, he is the greatest prophet God gave him even an opportunity to make a statement about his son, Jesus Christ. When in prophecy, many years before he was born, Isaiah said, for unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And a government will be upon his shoulders and he will be called mighty God, everlasting father, the prince of peace. That statement which described the character, the mission of Jesus Christ. It happened, God used Isaiah to make such a statement because he had allowed him to cleanse him, to make him his. Today, I pray that you would allow, you will allow God to touch your heart, to deal with that uncleanliness. And I can assure you, when you have done that, when he has done that in you, he's going to give you an opportunity to be his ambassador in the rest of the world. It's a matter of time. You are going to influence this world for God. Even when you are a minister, you will be there for God. A lawyer, you will be there for God. A clergyman like me, you will be there for God. If not, you will disappoint and betray him, as some have done. Can you imagine a bishop like me standing here and I say, if a man and a man wants to get married, you come and I wed you. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? And someone who was a student here who will be an alumnus of this university, you one time will say, I am in love with my fellow girl and I want to wed her. What? A gentleman who even used to read uh, texts here and, uh, and, and, and is there, he's saying, I am now. Eh? I've seen many things happen. People getting married to dogs. A dog puts on a veil and you stand by its side. By the way, for us, we say it's not his side or her side. And, and you read, a dog. I have seen even people who get married to themselves. You check the globe through Google and other guys, you see someone gets married to herself. She puts on a veil and she says, I am my own uh, uh, partner. And then I shall choose to, to, uh, 
to end the marriage with myself. I said, divorce myself because I'm married to myself. Crazy things. God says, I want to touch your heart. And then you'll go from. And you know what happens next? When he has touched your heart, listen to this. This is so good from the gospel that was read to us. He, Christ, met this Samaritan woman and he, and he told her, worship is going to change right now. Time is coming and it's now when true worshipers will worship me in spirit and in truth. It is when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior that you can then worship him in spirit and in truth. Think of someone who has been here. He's a member of this church. He sits in the gallery or in the sanctuary praising God. I'm so glad that Jesus set me free. Singing those choruses and hymns every Sunday when she or he has not received Christ. What is that? I Yes, I can run. Yes, I can run. Those, you know, I am so glad Jesus saved me. We sing those songs, but how many are saying it in truth? You think about it. My name is Johnson Tuinomson. Now, Tuinomson in my language means we have a savior. Literally translated, we have a savior. Now, God gave me that name through my parents so I could honor him. And some of you have names like that. But think of Tuinomzuni carrying liquor. Tuinomzuni smoking marijuana. Tuinomzuni, how can we please the Lord? You think about it. I have seen some people called Kayesu, a girl called Kayesu. She's in a bar. And the drunkards are calling God, you, you, you give me more liquor. Ka Yesu, bring me more liquor. <laughs> it is only when you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior that you can sing to him in truth. And in heaven he will be saying, this is my child. I know her. She has given my, her life to me. He has given his life to me. That is the Lord. That's how we can worship him. That's how, that is the kind of worship that, he, that pleases him. I ask you, beloved, would you allow God to touch your heart? Would you allow him to deal with that area of uncleanliness? Would you allow him to touch your heart so you can, you can praise him in spirit and in truth? Would you live not in contradiction? Eh? When you say I'm a Christian, and you, you are. And the Lord knows. Would you do that? Allow the Lord to touch your heart. And that's my prayer for you this morning. Accept the Lord Jesus as your Savior. You get out of the contradiction. And then you will say boldly, send me. Send me, Lord. Give me that office. Appoint me a minister. Do, 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 do whatever. And I shall go there for you. That's how we shall answer the question, who shall go for us? And you will say, say, I am here, send me. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Let us pray. Close your eyes. Holy, mighty, and loving Father. In humility, we bow before you. You know us all. You know us well. You created us. There's nothing we can hide from you. You know every faculty of our lives. You know our past. You know our present. You know our future, Lord. I pray that right now you speak to this, your child. May he May she, like Isaiah, be honest and say, I'm unclean. I am in an unclean world. The Lord, touch me. 
May you touch them, O oh God. May you touch them, my Father. I know you have a future for them. We know of many students who have graduated in absentia or posthumously. Those that have not allowed and cleanliness to get out of their lives and eventually they don't even see the first fruits of their labor. Oh my God, I pray that this moment you touch this daughter, you touch this son for your glory. So by the time you send them out, they will be bold and say, send me Lord. And may you use them mightily in those offices all over the world, in their homes, in their communities. Lord, may they be sent like Isaiah was. And he ended up to have an impact, a glorious impact on humanity. Touch them, oh God. Touch them, oh God. Let me ask you. You are here. You came to this world alone. And one day you will see the one who brought you here. Let me ask you, ask you this moment, if there is, a, there is an area. And we are saying, Lord Jesus, I want you to cleanse me. I want you to cleanse me from this filth, from this sin. He's ready to do that. And I want to pray for you. You are here and you are saying, today I ask the Lord to get into my heart and cleanse me. He will do it, I can assure you. Let me ask you, wherever you are, stay in your, in your, in your place. But let me ask you, I want to pray for you. If you want Jesus to cleanse me and you are giving your life to Jesus for cleansing, put up your hand and I pray for you. Put up your hand straight. God bless you. God bless you. Put up your hand straight. Do not fear. He came that you may have life and have it abundantly. He knows you very, very well. You cannot hide anything from him. Be honest with your life. Put up your hand. God bless you, dear. God bless you. God bless you. Put it up straight. God bless you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Those who have put up your hand, go ahead and stand. Stand where you are. Stand. Follow your hand. Stand with boldness. Stand because you are committing yourself to Jesus Christ. Put down your hand. It will get, get tired, but keep standing. Keep standing in the Lord. At this moment, I want Jesus to cleanse me. To cleanse me. To touch that area of my life and cleanse me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want Jesus Christ to cleanse me and make me a new person. Praise the Lord. With this chorus, I have decided to follow Jesus. Stand I have Those who have decided, if you have decided, stand. Jesus, oh, he will cleanse you, I know that. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. No turning back. No turning back. The world behind me, the cross. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The cross behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, no turning back, no turning back. Now as I pray for you, just open your heart to the Lord and, and ask him, Repent of that sin. Allow his hand to touch your heart and that area of uncleanliness as I pray for you. Just to speak to God. And even those who are seated, if there is any area that you know is unclean, be honest. Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you because you came that we may have life and have it abundantly. Lord Jesus, there is no other name under the heavens by which we can get saved. It is only you, Lord. You came to deal with sin. You are the only one who can provide the remedy for sin. And these your children have stood. I pray that in your mercy, you forgive them. Forgive them, Lord. Prepare their hearts for greater things. 
may you touch them and like Isaiah may they go out to demonstrate your goodness to be your ambassadors in their homes in their communities in this country in your church across the world may they be there there where you will send them to demonstrate your goodness forgive them Lord and I pray that everyone who's here and knows you will live for you we live to show the goodness of you who created us human and put us in this world and one day they will be ushered into heaven where they will get the reward of eternal life and many other blessings may the blessing of god almighty be upon you now and forevermore amen amen god bless you so much thank you thank you very much amen let's appreciate our bishop papa johnson thank you so much Thank you for bringing God's word to us. Please, let's give a big hand clap to God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit for speaking to us. And may he indeed send you out to represent him in different spheres of influence. It's time for us to give, and our God loves a cheerful giver. So as we give, yes, we shall give the general giving, and thereafter we shall come in for the time of thanksgiving. The choir will come to do that. Thank you. Follow where your 
to God. As you continue to surrender yourself to the Lord, Reverend Irene will come and lead us in that time. The choir. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed
Jesus, oh Lord, we give you praise for all things come from you. We give you thanks and praise, oh Lord God, for the jobs that you have given to us, for the businesses, Lord God, that we have, for the upkeep money that our parents give to us. Thank you, Lord God, for all the sources of this money. Lord God, we, we receive this money as a token of our love to you, O King of glory. Sanctify it with the precious blood of the Lamb, O Lord, and we pray that it will be put to good use. Thank you for the offer to lay and the tithes that your children have given to you, O King of glory. Lord, we continue also to thank you for these, your children, O Lord, who have come to give thanks to you. You are the all-knowing God, and you know why they have come to give thanks to you. Receive the thanks, their thanksgiving, O Lord, and I pray, King of glory, that you continue to bless them, their businesses, at their work, at their places of work, O Lord God, wherever they have gotten this money, whatever, Lord God, some of them perhaps could have come to give thanks, and they are believing you, Lord, for a breakthrough in one area or another. Heavenly Father, I pray that, Lord, you answer their prayers, that you grant them a breakthrough, sustain them at their places of work. Lord, let their businesses, Lord, get high yields, O King of glory. Protect them, O King of kings, and may they indeed continue to be a blessing in your church. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Continue now with Holy Communion. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and proper that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and everlasting God, therefore with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we praise and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Come to your table, merciful Lord, together, trusting in our own goodness, but in your great mercy. We are not good enough even to eat the crumbs that fall from your table, but you never change. It is the very nature of your being always to be merciful. We therefore humbly ask you, gracious Lord, to let us eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and drink his blood, so that our sinful lives may be purified by his precious blood, and that we may dwell in him and he in us. We praise and thank you, our Redeemer and Father, for your glory and your love. We praise you for giving us your son to die for us as he suffered death, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this and eat it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we do this in remembrance of him. With this bread and this cup, we celebrate his perfect sacrifice made once and for all upon the cross. We proclaim his resurrection from the dead and his ascension, and we look for the fullness of his coming in glory. Accept, therefore, the sacrifice of our thanksgiving and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit. Inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Together, for Christ who loves us and who gave himself for us, we give you thanks, O Lord. Amen. His death we proclaim. His resurrection we confess. His coming we await. Glory be to you, O Lord Most High. Let's continue together, O Lamb of God. Who takes, a, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us, O Lamb of God. Who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, O Lamb of God. Who takes away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Praise the Lord. I come and partake of these elements. In Jesus' name I pray.
God of weakness, watch and pray. Find in me thy knowing door. I hear the Savior say, Thy strength in it is full. Child of weakness, watch and pray.
and thank the Lord for allowing you to participate in this holy sacrament and as you thank him still go ahead and mention that area in your life where you need a touch where you need his deliverance and healing father we thank you for the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ thank you for allowing us to dine with you we know that our bodies have been strengthened having taken part in this holy sacrament Father, we know that the sick in our midst, oh God, you have touched. So we want to say thank you for your healing power. We want to say thank you because the heart broken, oh God, you have mended during this service. Thank you, oh God, for indeed you have restored us. You have drawn us back to yourself. We continue to thank you because we know that you are our God and you are on the throne. Even as we continue to thank you, we bring our children that are going back to school, some today, some tomorrow. We dedicate them to you, Abba Father. We pray for the parents that, Lord, you provide for them as they provide for the children. We dedicate all our students, our children going back to high school, cause them to be the heads and not the tails, oh God. Father, let your blessings rest upon them and let them represent you as we have heard in a sermon. Father, we continue to commit the program for Markfest into your hands. We continue to ask you, the Lord, you go ahead of us during Markfest, as we mentioned all the different activities, we pray that you be in charge. Specifically, Lord, we mentioned to you the staff lunch on, university staff lunch on, which is on Thursday, which is on Thursday from midday to that, midday 30 to 2. Lord, we pray that you go ahead. We pray that you bring those lecturers, the professors, teaching and unteaching staff together, and that, Lord, as Professor Ora brings your word, your children will listen and hearken. We commit to you the worship evening. As the worship team prepares, Father, take the lead and be in charge. We commit to you all the evening sessions, the women and men's conference or talk times. Lord, we bring to you the youth explosion on Tuesday. We bring to you the midweek service as Bishop Ora will be bringing the word. We bring to you the prayer and deliverance session on Thursday and Friday. Please take the lead. Thank you. Even as comes to give us a blessing, please don't hesitate. Go ahead and mention that need. Maybe you have a need that you haven't mentioned. Mention it as the bishop comes to give us a blessing. Heavenly Father, we pray that you receive our prayers and hear the prayers of your children, O oh God, as they mention their need is to you. At your right time, in, an, in accordance with your will, we pray that you answer us. May the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, keep your hearts and keep your minds in the knowledge of God and of his dear Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior. 
May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you, beloved. Upon you as an individual, upon your parents, guardians, and sponsors, upon your children, upon your studies as you prepare to go to the world and be Christ's ambassador. May that blessing be upon your both immediate and distant future and make you a person of value, we pray, through that matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 God bless you so much. Amen. A big hand clap to the Lord. Amen. Amen. We have come to the close of our service. Please turn to your neighbor and thank them for being your neighbor and remind them what is happening from today and let them take part. Let's appreciate Team Esaf again. Yes. And then we are reminding you that there are t-shirts. Please buy for a student, buy for your girlfriend, for your boyfriend, for your wife, for your husband, for your mother and father. Let's all get involved in MacFest and fill this space with God's word. Go in the world to love and to serve the Lord. Amen. For the call.